Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. This time I will be doing a two-handed playthrough of the Nebula scenario from the Galaxy's Most Wanted expansion. I am playing on standard difficulty and uh, I am using the Rocket Raccoon and Groot pre-built decks from the Galaxy's Most Wanted expansion box. So uh, Rocket has the aggression aspect and Groot has the protection aspect. Uh, this scenario is quite challenging. I have uh, done a couple of uh, playthroughs of this scenario just to learn the mechanics and I can say that I haven't <laughs> yet beaten this scenario so no big hopes of uh, beating it now. If we do that's great but if not we'll just continue to the last scenario after this one but this video is mainly to um, show how the scenario works and how the pre-built decks work against the scenario so when you get around to playing this scenario you have a basic understanding what to do and maybe how to build your deck so let's get started <laughs> Okay, well, we have some setup still to do, so uh, let's first look at the Power Stone. So we set up the game uh, with Power Stone, which is uh, permanent in play on Nebula. The Power Stone gives plus one part or scheme or plus one attack to the wielder or the character that it is attached to. It can be attached to either the villain or the hero. Uh, if a hero or villain deals three or more damage to the attached character with a single attack, attach power stone to the attacking hero or villain. So we can steal this from Nebula, and Nebula can try to steal it back, and so forth. Then let's check out Nebula. Uh, Nebula is one attack, one, uh, two, uh, two attack, one scheme, and the scheme. An attack has forced interrupts, so when Nebula initiates an activation against you, resolve the special ability of each technique attachment in play, then discard each of those attachments. And this is a big uh, change when you go to uh, phase 2. So, uh, of course, we get the, a slight stat boost on the scheming, but the big change is that you only discard one of those technique attachments, not all of them, but you still activate all of them. This is a big change and I misplayed that quite a lot on my first play, so keep that in mind when you advance to phase 2. Uh, then we have Nebula ship and we'll talk about this after we've seen the uh, Act 1A. So. Uh, set up, we put the Nebula ship environment and the Milano support into play at that power stone to Nebula, that, that we did. Then we discard the top two cards per player of the encounter deck, then attach each technique attachment discarded this way to Nebula. So Nebula might get um, attachments right away, let's uh, resolve that first. So uh, we discard four cards because we are playing a two player game. Uh, not an attachment, not an attachment, not an attachment, and we got lucky that we didn't hit any attachments right at the start. Okay, then uh, let's look at the 1B side quickly. So uh, we have a threshold of 6 per player, uh, the threat increases X per player, and the X is equal to the number of evasion counters on the plus ship. And we start the game with two threat per player. So, uh, Nebula ship. Post interrupt when the villain phase begins, place one evasion counter here. So we can, uh, we always add evasion counters here, which will make the main scheme a threat increase faster. And then we have the shoot the thrusters which is a first player action. This is important also because only the first player can do this. Uh, exhaust the Milano and spend up to two resources of any type. 
remove one evasion counter from here for each resource spent this way. So uh, how you can manage this scenario is to try to keep the nebula ship evasion counters as low as possible, which is quite difficult, at, at least how I have uh, found out. But I think uh, this is everything we need to do for the setup, so we'll draw our opening hands. So six cars for rockets, we get Relentless Assault into the fray, Battery Pack and Cannon into the fray and buff Booster Boots. Uh, we don't need any of these. Uh, we have the Battery Pack and Hand Cannon, those are okay. And actually in this scenario the Booster Boots can be really good because Nebula hits like a truck. So we'll keep those three and we'll draw three more cards. Okay, not the greatest start, but um, I think uh, we play the Pug and the Booster Boots and uh, hold everything else. We can all, uh, also use the Milano's uh, Generator Resource ability, because we still don't have any um, tokens on the Nebula ship, so I think we can play some cards down on the first turn. Root gets uh, desperate defense, fighting feet, strength, vision, uh, wine shield, and energy. Okay, let's think. Um, I think the wine shield can go. Desperate defense can go. We really want to see something to uh, play down. So I think uh, the fighting feet can go also. So we draw three more cards. <laughs> okay, this was so unlucky. Uh, three Dauntlesses. Well, it is what it is. I think we are just uh, building up on Groot and go head on fighting with rockets. I might keep one strength in hand uh, for next turn. So if we hit something that we need two resources to play, that's uh, ready. Okay, well. Uh, Rocket starts by uh, playing down the. I'll use the Milano and I'll play down the uh, Booster Boots. I'll use the Looking for Trouble and chase them down to play Pug. And uh, I think I'll just play the Battery Pack. Uh, we probably will just thwart with Rocket on the first turn as well as with Pug. Get the, this thread a bit lower. We'll flip. I uh, will four for two. We'll four for one. And that is rocket. We'll go to Groot. Uh, Groot adds two road counters. I'll play Fruition to add two more. I'll use Dauntless to play Dauntless. And I'll discard this and keep these two. And that is Groot's turn. We are not yet going up with Groot. Uh, we ready up. And roll back up to 5. So we get uh, Rocket Launcher, Particle Cannon, which is good. Follow through Genius and Hand Cannon. So at least we have some weapons to play next turn. And then we get uh, 4 cards with Groot, Fighting Fit. Indomitable, Death Focus, and the Power of Protection. Okay, so something to play next turn, and then, then we go definitely to Hero Mode and start defending for Rocket, because without Groot, Rocket is quite uh, squishy in this scenario. We go to the Villain Phase. So first thing we do is add an Evasion Counter on the Nebula ship. Then we add the Threat, so two per player. Uh, one pl per player, so two. Nebula uh, attacks Rocket, and I will defend with Pug. So we find our first technique. So uh, attachment attached to Nebula. Nebula gains retaliate one, special take one damage. And boost after this evasion and attach this card to Nebula and resolve its special ability. So this is just uh, won't boost Nebula's attack, so Pug takes 3 damage 
and uh, then we attach this on nebula and I'll keep this like this because from now on uh, okay we take one damage because we have to activate it so uh, when we have to do the activations of the specials I'll just pick them all up and check them through I've just found out that there is no, <laughs> not enough room for all of those cards. So better just whenever Nebula activates, check the specials on those cards. And of course, um, when Nebula initiates an activation against you, resolve the special ability on each enemy attachment play, then discard each of those. So. Uh, Whenever Nebula activates, we can check those uh, attachments. Okay, and uh, that was the activation against Rocket. So, activating against Groot. So, again, Nebula activates, so this triggers. So, we deal one damage. Then, this gets discarded. So, it doesn't stay in play that long in two player. Then, uh, we portal 1 plus 1 and give villain one additional boost card for this activation. So uh, we are at 3. And after this activation ends, attach this card to Nebula and resolve its special ability. So we get 3 threats here. We are at 6. And we get wide stance. It is an Attached to Nebula, reduce the amount of damage Nebula takes from each attack by one. Discard one card at random from the hand. So we have to discard one card at random from our hand. These are really annoying, <laughs> so to say. They really uh, may mess up your whole turn plan. And we lose energy, which is a shame because we would have wanted to use that to play something. But we still have plenty of resources to play and this uh, attaches to nebula okay and uh, then we get encounter cards so uh, there is so much to do in nebula's villain phase so rocket gets advanced so um, We resolve the special keyword again, so we discard one card and this gets discarded. And we lose the hand cannon. Well, luckily it was the worst um, weapon we had. Then... Uh, we think we'll just take the attack, so three... Plus, uh, sorry, this was the advanced. Yeah, so two plus uh, one. Okay, luckily we didn't hit any more icons, so we get three. Okay, so we're nearly <laughs> advancing, and this is only the standard and uh, first villain phase. So this this encounter is really hard. And uh, we get Weapon Master. So, um, Nebula also has this uh, that the first technique attachment revealed each round gains search. So, those that I turned for the boost, they don't get revealed, they just uh, uh, we attach them to. Nebula and uh, resolve the special. So now this gets attached to Nebula, then it searches, and it's the only the first one searches. And that's also one big uh, rule that you might misplay easily because it's a bit hard to remember. And gang up, uh, it searches because I'm in alter ego, and we get the sound the alarms. Each enemy gets plus one attack, and this has four threat on it. Okay, well, that is not that bad. We 
might be able to get rid of that. But that is the first turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. So Rocket is the first player. Uh, the Groot is the first player. Uh, we'll just start by getting growth counters. Uh, we'll play... Okay, um, I think I'm using Milano this turn also. There is still only one counter there, so... Or I could... I think I'm uh, using Milano and discarding this indomitable. So as first player action I'll remove one counter from here. And... Uh, I'll just uh, play the Death Focus and flip and uh, Fighting Feats and uh, Nebula has Retaliate 1, so we take 1 Retaliate, but we deal 5 then uh, we're not really good at removing threat, but have to. Uh, so I think we try to work off this as fast as possible. Uh, we go to Rocket. Uh, Rocket will actually use the follow through and genius to play particle cannon. I'll keep this uh, rocket launcher in hand. And particle cannon, I'll use that. I'll use the rocket, uh, the battery pack to recharge it. So we deal four damage here. And we get one damage from retaliates. I'll use these boots to cancel that damage. And uh, we de dealt enough damage to steal the power stone. Then I will thwart for three. So we get rid of this anti alarms. And that actually worked out okay. And uh, we're ready up. We draw up. Uh, Star Shark, Fighting Fit, Death Focus, Flashing Vines, uh, which is quite important to get early and hard to ignore, which is also good. Rocket uh, gets only 4 cards because we have the la Rocket Launcher, so Cybernetic Skeleton, follow through into the fray and thruster boots. That is the hero phase, we start the villain phase, uh, we are ready up. Uh, we add one evasion counter here. We'll add two threat here. So actually, I'll just uh, we are one away from advancing. So this is a really, really hard scenario to keep control of without with these the starter decks. Uh, I think some deck building for. Uh, much more threat removal is needed, or I'm just getting really lucky. Um, okay, well, Nebula activates against Groot, so I'll take one damage, I'll defend, and uh, Nebula will hit for two plus two, so four, so we only take one. Uh, we don't let's retaliate one back. Then this gets removed. Then uh, uh, rocket is the next target, and I think I will defend with rocket. And uh, uh, Nebula hits for two plus two, so four. 
is 3, which would be enough, but I'll use the rocket boots to lower that to 2, so we don't lose the power stone. Encounter cards. We get uh, unyielding persistence uh, attached to Nebula. Nebula can stalwart, so I'll use uh, this counter to uh, represent that the character has stalwart because stalwart is a new keyword and it means you can stun or confuse that uh, character so it's easier that if I am trying to stun or confuse the villain I see that okay it's, it has the stalwart token so uh, I, I know that I, I don't waste my time by uh, putting the stun or confused on that villain and that's actually I'm I'm suggesting the great guys that buy the same token would make a stalwart counter for this game because that would really help remember that the villain can't be stunned or confused but uh, let's get back to the game so special uh, uh, we attach to Nebula. Nebula gains stalwart. Give Nebula the tough status card. If Nebula already has the tough status card, give Nebula one face down boost card. So uh, Nebula doesn't have the tough. We add the tough. But uh, of course, we have to remember that this um, searches combat ready. Uh, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until technique attachment is discarded. Reveal that card then resolve its special ability. So we get evasive maneuvering. Uh, Nebula can stalwart again. Uh, special you are stunned. So we resolve that. So Groot gets stunned. Nothing we can do about that. Then rocket uh, advance. So one plus well, one is two, which is enough to advance this. Nothing we could do to stop that. Warp drive initiated. When revealed, place two evasion counters on Nebula's ship. For each evasion counter on Nebula's ship, discard the two top two cards of each player's deck and the counter deck. So we add two evasion counters here. And discard six. Six from here. Six from here. And six from here. So this really accelerates the game. It's not really nice. And uh, now we have a, a threshold of 9 per player, so 18, and X is again the equivalent of the evasion counter, so now it's 3 per player, and we start with 6 threats, so 3 per player. Okay, well, uh, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the... Oh uh, no, um, because we advanced the uh, nebula activated against rocket so we resolve these so uh, we give tough but we give an additional boost card for next turn actually this would have uh, let's check timing so we resolve these before the um, actual activation so this would have added to the okay so we add one more boost counter here so this changes this again so we discard two more cards from everywhere uh, this is what I'm saying that these uh, scenarios are there's so much to keep track okay this is resolved then uh, you are stunned so rocket also gets stunned and this is re uh, resolved okay now, uh, that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Rocket is the first player for this turn, and let's see what we can do. I think this turn we, 
really have to get rid of some of the evasion counters and start thwarting somehow. We really don't have a lot to lot to play. I think we are seeing so few enemies so the rocket launcher can go. I will play... I'll use these two uh, to play the cybernetic skeleton so we get more hit points and plus one attack and uh, we will use the Milano and two resources to do this get the uh, evasion counters down that is all rocket can do we'll go to Groot I think I'm just uh, playing the fighting fit to get rid of the stunned possibly well uh, let's play hard to ignore the death focus I'll use the other death focus to play the Flashing vines. And well, actually, uh, let's actually back up. I won't play this. I'll use this just to. Well, I'll call for an action so Rocket can fire this to remove the tough. I'll use this to, to play the fighting fit to hit for 5. Stay on there. And uh, I'll call for action so Rocket can charge the particle cannon back up. And uh, I think that's all I can do. So we. Messed up. Okay, yeah. Uh, just remove the top, uh, tops and let's back up quite a bit so we'll just charge this up and uh, yeah I'll uh, change so that I'll play star hawk and remove the top with it and that should be somehow correct. And uh, uh, rocket is still stunned. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. Um, be ready up. Uh, rocket gets. Booster boots, chase them down, strength, uh, Schadenfreude, and looking for trouble. So, at least I think we can try to heal next turn a bit, but not much actually. And uh, Groot gets hard to ignore Flora and Fauna. I am Groot, I am Groot, and again, I have uh, put this in the wrong. Okay, well, uh, I'm playing these as as back to back, so I think I'm always shuffling those flora and fauna into Groot's deck for some reason. Silly me. Okay. Groot stomp. We go to the villain phase. We add um, eva uh, evasion counter here. We add three threat here. Uh, six threat. Uh, Nebula will attack a rocket. I'll defend with Starhawk. Uh, evasion counter on the ship. Well, that sucks. Uh, Starhawk is defeated. Then uh, we defend with Groot. 
two plus after the dissipation ends attach this part to okay so we take no damage and we do this and hard to ignore this attached to nebula and we place one threat on the main scheme and count the cards or first is ruthless uh, hero nebula attacks you if damage is dealt by this Invasion, place one invasion control for the ship. I'll defend and uh, Nebula hits for. Oh, we add one threat. Four. Yeah, I'll give the rocket boots to lower that. And uh, we only take two, so we don't lose the power stone. But uh, we add. One counter here, this gets discarded. And uh, wait a minute, did I? Yeah, I still need to resolve the roots counter card, which is combat ready, so we search for we find one. So we reveal this, uh, reduce the amount, so this searches. Okay, so now we discard for until we hit a criminal, no criminals. But we still get an acceleration token. So, as you can see, we are at the end of uh, the line nearly. Uh, we have the 13 threat of 18 on, and uh, we have barely started doing damage to Nebula. <laughs> this is a really, really hard, hard scenario with these starter decks from the expansion box but there at least is some challenge but um, yeah. this should have been removed okay so that is the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase root is the first player um, you can't just uh, Oh yeah, uh, we have a bunch of threats, so we need to do something about that. And uh, we should try to remove the ship's um, tokens, so... Um, uh, we are not attacking, so I'm using these two Nebula ship to remove you from here. I'll use the Death Focus and Flora and Fauna in order to ignore. And uh, to what? Two from here. That is all Groot can do. We'll go to Rocket. We could have. Um, um, you played the Flora and Fauna to get two more counters, but then we would have removed even the two. So that that's really nasty. And. Uh, well, a rocket doesn't have that much to do. We can't even uh, we can't even uh, attack or anything like that. So. There's really nothing to do here. Uh, I think I have to attack just to remove this stun. Then yeah, uh, there is. Well, I'll just play uh, these on root. And uh, I'll keep the rest. I'll discard that one. Okay, let's ready up. Uh, we draw back up to hand sizes. So, reload, reload, battery pack. So, if we survive the next turn, we can deal a lot of damage with the 
particle cannon, but that is quite far away yet. And so we get five for Groot. Uh, desperate defense, vine spikes, hard to ignore, or stomp, entangling vines. Uh, nebula attacks. Uh, well, first we add evasion counter here. We'll add. I think we just lost. Uh, we add eight. Yeah, that's game. Well, that was a shame because I think we were getting some st stabilization into the game, but it is what it is. This is a really hard scenario. I really don't can't recommend you try this out with the uh, decks out of the box. You really need to uh, fine tune the decks to have enough uh, threat removal, enough um, ways to maybe get toughs and stuff like that, so you don't take that much damage from Nebula. Or I, don't know. I think I, I really have to sit down and think how I build my decks for this uh, scenario, but still I really like Nebula as a character, and I really like that they made this a challenge, not the, like not like a, a easy scenario, like half of the scenarios in uh, the Rise of Red Skull box, but I think they went a bit too far in the other end of the spectre uh, with the difficulty. Uh, I also have watched a couple of playthroughs on Expert and I haven't tried that yet, and that doesn't look really fun because the, it looks just impossible. Uh, at least in um, two player and standard, this feels like it's doable. Uh, one of my practice games went uh, a lot better than this game. I managed to get a long way into the phase two of Nebula, but then uh, unfortunately I got bucked down with stuns and st stuff like that and couldn't finish Nebula off. And uh, so uh, Read it out. But still, hope you uh, found this uh, playthrough informative that you know now how to play this scenario. And I tried to mention all the little rule thingies that you might miss on your couple of first playthroughs so you uh, play this right from the get go. So, as always, thanks for watching and until next time.